Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Cuber. Today, I'm going to be going over all the puzzles that I got at Worlds 2013. Okay, so let's get started. These are not going to be in any really particular order. First up, we have the Diane Gem 3. This is a really cool puzzle. It turns on the face and on these sort of edges. It also jumbles, as you can see here. Next we have the crazy 4x4 1. This is pretty much a 2x2 two two with a 4x4 four four wrapped around it. Mass Volk actually solved this cube for me at Worlds. Quite fast, too. Next we have the Shangshao Mirror Blocks. This is a really fun puzzle, and it turns quite smoothly, too. I would have preferred the silver stickers, but when I bought this from Speed Cube Shop, the only thing they had was the gold. Next we have the Professor Pyraminx. This is pretty much a five-layered Pyraminx, including the tip. The solve is pretty much reduction. You solve the centers, then the edges, then you solve it like a Master Pyraminx. The stickers are weird and poorly placed, but it doesn't affect me too much. Next is the Latch Cube. This cube only turns in the directions of the arrows, which can cause internal bandaging. I've only solved it once, and it's one of the hardest cubes in my collection. Next, we have the 2x2 shape-shifting dodecahedron. I think the name kind of tells you what that is. It's basically just a shape-shifting 2x2 dodecahedron. Uh, the core is a Lanlan, -lan and it's pretty smooth. Next, we have the Lanlan -lan Master Morphix. This is a really cool puzzle, but I experienced some weird parodies with it. I haven't looked at any videos yet, but I might. Up next is the Shengshou Crazy 2x2x4. I originally got this to make a 2x2 cross cube because it pretty much is a 2x2 cross cube, but I haven't done anything with that yet. Next we have the Wit Eden 3x3x6. I needed to get this to complete my 3x3xn collection, and it's really nice. The turning is really smooth, and it's really fun to solve. I don't really mind these squish layers, but I would have preferred it to be proportional. Next we have the Rondi's cube. Someone just went up and handed this to me, actually. Uh, it's a take-apart reassemble puzzle with only six pieces, so it's pretty simple. Next, we have the Mini Dian Shang. Not sure how I ended up with this thing, but I've never had a Mini Dian Shang before, so that's cool. Next, we have the Gear Change. This is a uh, gear cube shape mod into a rhombic dodecahedron. It's a really cool cube, but I haven't quite figured out how to solve it yet. Next, we have the Gear Ball. This is an extremely good turning puzzle, and it was a little bit of a challenge to solve it. Next we have the gear shift. This cube turns very well, as you can see. The axes split apart like this, and then you can turn the individual faces. And now, the best for last, the 11x11. 11 11. As you can see, this cube is an absolute beast. I had my eye on it for a while at Worlds before I actually started to negotiate a trade with the guy who had it. I ended up giving away 6 or 7 cubes and about $75 for this cube. When I got home, I restickered it with Cubesmith White, Fluorescent Yellow, Fluorescent Green, Bright Orange, Bright Blue, and Regular Red. This cube turns really well and is broken in nicely after about 5 solves. All the layers are ultra smooth, uh, as you can see here. Uh, especially after restickering it, it got really, really smooth. All that's left now to complete my collection is the 10 by 10. So those are all the cubes I got at the World Championships 2013. If you saw a cube that you'd like to see a review on, let me know in the comments and the top three will be reviewed. I'll already be reviewing the 11 by 11, so don't comment that. So that's all for this video on all the cubes that I got at Worlds 2013. If you like this video, give a like, and if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.